what we try to do on our show is, of course, we try to model to bring people out of their narrow vision and their silos, and you make good out of that, that bad. I wanted to ask you, Angie, you're sitting here, you're, you're connected to the PTA representing teachers and, and parents and children, and David, you're here representing the gay community, talking about the intersection. What, what do you think about being in the studio together? Is there an intersection between the work that you do, Angie, and, and David's organization? Oh, gosh, absolutely. Because people would say, oh, there's someone from a PTA and a gay organization. <laughs> what are they doing in the studio together? Just let's talk about <laughs> this moment where we have a wonderful intersection of two very diverse communities. What, what? Not to mention three weird religious dudes. Right. Yeah. Well, we didn't want to, we didn't want to add that to the mix because that would be too much. But I didn't want to mention I, that. I think, I'm glad you brought I think it up. this is important in our, our listeners in this kind of intersection the bringing people out of their their comfort zone areas what what's your reflection i think it makes perfect sense i think there's absolutely an intersection there i sit on the steering committee for the florida coalition to prevent gun violence and as such i work extremely close with the quality florida up in tallahassee that's a pta we're for all children like all children are children no it doesn't matter race, gender, whatever they are, they're our children, we love them, we're there to support them. A couple years ago, we were fortunate enough to pass a resolution because the way the PT works is I can only speak to position statements that I have, and those position statements come from our memberships through resolutions. And we did pass a resolution on LGBTQ kids. And, and because of that resolution, I'm allowed now to be in Tallahassee and speak on their behalf. I'm, I'm allowed to advocate for them. And um, and we do so, and we probably do so. Do you see any hope that uh, with the legislation that was passed that we crack the door open to more legislation? Maybe I'm a Pollyanna. I hope so. I mean, we, we saw more gun reform last year than we ever thought possible, and that was in large part due to the kids. Um, they were phenomenal in their advocating, you know, coming up to Tallahassee. Part of that was because we were in session when the shooting happened. Um, it's a shame that it, ha we, it had to come to a school shooting. We should have seen legislation after Pulse. Like, we should have seen something put into place so that people can feel safe when they walk in a movie theater, they can feel safe when they walk into a bar.